Hey guys, Jack Cantus here again with another watch and learn series of Don't Starve Together. Now we got four of our goobers here again. We got Moss, Sarah, and Cat. So we got the usual suspects here. Now this episode's gonna focus on you know you're in winter, you know what do. A lot of people ask me a question like why is winter so hard? Why is it you know so impossible to do? And I'm like it's not. It's actually one of the easier seasons. Yes, there is a uh, your first giant that you're gonna encounter. If you guys aren't familiar with him, uh, his name is Deerclops. He comes around midwinter, and he usually only comes at night. And he's a fairly simple boss if you have a bunch of friends. So I'm going to show you how to stockpile for winter. So mainly, we want everybody to have, um, we want everybody to be topped off with a thermal stone. Hello, hello. So if all you guys got a thermal stone, heat up. We're going to go farm wood. We're going to fill an entire chest with wood so we don't have to worry about fuel the entire time. So mainly this box right here is the one with all the thermal stones. I'm just going to fill this with stacks of logs. So we got to go to a good logging area somewhere where there are a lot of dense logs all close to each other. That I mean, if we spawn a tree guard, who cares, right? So yeah, over here, fine. over here, yeah, over here sounds fine. Like, we can go here. If you guys have this mod, we can just do that. I highly recommend putting that mod on, especially if you guys are new. And if you guys notice, I have a ton of rabbits in my inventory. Come with me, fellow followers. I have a ton of rabbits in my inventory. That's name me one for meat, and I'm gonna make something special later on. And if you guys didn't know, having a thermal stone fully heated will actually give you a small amount of light towards the end of um, uh, on dusk and and at nighttime. It'll actually save you if you actually have it. So you can actually use it to kind of help you out, but I wouldn't rely on it. <laughs> so we're going to come over here. And then, you know, we can kill some rabbits if needed or eat some carrots and stuff like that. I know it's a bit of a waste, but so uh, since we're at this logging area, we can go ahead and uh, unclick this. So what we're going to want to do is make a fire here. That way our friends don't, you know, die. And just start logging. Just go, just go ham. What you want to do is clear out as many trees as you can and uh, get as much wood as you possibly can. That way, when you stockpile, you have nothing but wood. And then, you know, when everybody's like, oh, hey, there's no wood for the fire, you don't have that problem. Mainly, you want to go for the tier three trees, the bigger ones. They give you more wood, but you can pick on the little ones too. Don't be afraid to log an entire area either. If you guys have a Woody or a Maxwell, it's infinitely better for you. You guys have your Abbeys? Yeah. Bring them over here. To the penguins? To the penguins, yeah. I want free food. Just hit them once. Hit them once so Abby can aggro them. I just want free meat. So if you guys choose to kill the pengals, they're really easy. They have a drop chance to drop a bunch of different things. Just walk away, I got them. They're really easy meeting me sometimes. Time oh, yeah. Abby's doing a shit job. <laughs> you have Abby call on. I'm at two health. Oh, that's fine. We'll fix you up. Oh yeah. Killing innocent yeah, things. That's fine. Yeah, I took this extra one. So, you can go ahead and log in the night, guys. We're a little disorganized there. But uh, if you guys have the lanterns from the previous episode, you guys can do this. You guys can have extra light while you guys log. Like I said, you guys want to stockpile as much wood as you can, fill up at least one chest. That way, you don't have to worry about hell. Hey, we don't have logs. And that way you don't uh, tap into your little emergency supply of wood. Alright, let's go ahead and make another shovel. Right there. And then we can just keep logging through the night until the one uh, until the day comes. We want to find a little bit more densely populated areas of trees. Be careful that you're going to spawn a tree guard if you guys aren't prepared to fight one. If we spawn one, I'll show you how to take care of it. It's a fairly simple little mini boss. Come here and grab some more trees. 
like I said, having a Maxwell or um, a Woody in this situation does speed up the process as well. But, you know, more hands, faster it gets done. It is boring. Most people want to ruin watch and stuff like that. But, hey, you got to keep an eye on your stats and in your base. You can have all the fun in the ruins once you set up your base. Throw Sticking and Don't Starve isn't a problem, but at the same time, having a logistical sense in this game is very important. A lot of people are like, nah, fuck that, I'll live, I'll live off blue mushrooms and stuff like that. You can do that, but, you know, it's a very hasty, rushy way to play Don't Starve. It's not my flavor. At all. So, let's go right here. I'm one of those guys who likes to be prepared for every situation. I'm trying to get at least two stacks. And spotting a tree guard isn't a big deal either. If anything, it's free it's free um it's free living logs. So now it's daytime you can go ahead and turn off your lantern, pick it up, put it back in your backpack. Remember we have uh, plenty of light bulbs, so using using the lanterns isn't really a big problem either. So we need that character a little low. If you guys can farm ice when you guys are here too, that'd be great. I'm also. Can you have some flint? Yeah, I have half a sack. Hang on, I'm freezing though. Now don't panic when you're freezing. Just go back to the fire. Yeah, I need something real quick. Here we go. Take half me flint. Now wait until that warms up, or you could drop it and do something else productive. More productive, I should say. And there you go. Nice and hot. If you guys got enough wood and ice. Alright, I think we almost have enough wood. This is main the mainly the prep I like to do for winter, just uh just to avoid uh anybody getting uh frozen at base, you know, they have nothing to burn or they don't have to burn something valuable. It's just easier just to kind of knock down all the trees that you can. So, and that and I need a board. I need a couple boards for the Presto Habitator. Alright, that should be fine. Alright, let's go back to base. You want to check the rabbit traps too when you come back. You don't want to pass up on some free morsels. Now do you? Oopsie. Oh, the people are in heat. That means that there's very little of them. I would avoid the beefaloes at this uh, this point. You know, even if you do need manure, I wouldn't risk uh, fighting them. All right, no rabbits. Sadness. Okay. Now that we're back here, go ahead and pop the fire on. Go ahead and use the pine cones if you really need it. Okay. And go ahead and fill this up with the, the logs. Put your one stack in there. All right, now that we got seven morsels, we can really get some stuff going here. That's just gonna make me balls. That's right. There you go. I need heals. Remember? I don't have anything to make a heal. Oh, I'm dying. Need some honey. All right, let's fill myself up real quick. 
All right, so let's go ahead and make another bucket. Put a jet black feather in there as well. I want to refertilize this stuff. Now, stuff won't grow in winter. Even if you have a wicker bottom, it will not, um, it just won't grow. So you have to not rely on your food source here. You got to rely on what you stockpiled before you showed up into winter. So you got to be really careful about that. A lot of people rely on butterfly wings like myself to heal and then, you know, easy meat and stuff like that. But you kind of, you kind of need to use the ice mechanic as filler as much as you can in winter. So we have vegetables. If we had eggs, we could be doing some good stuff. Now, we have silk. Do we have gold? We have gold. We have reeds. So this is one of the important things you need to do. Oh yeah, the eggs are good. If you can go steal some eggs. Okay, we want to be using some of those light bulbs to top off our lanterns. We have seeds. Okay. Now this is what you really need. You need two papyrus. Seeds and um, you need gold to make a bird cage. I want to take out our lantern. Hmm, where do I want my bird cage? I want my bird cage over here. Let's go ahead and put one here. Okay. So now that you have the bird cage, you need to make a bird trap. Simple enough. You could literally leave these out here in the base, or you can bait them with one seed. If you if you're low on seeds, you can just leave them out, and you'll get lucky and get a bird. But that's how you get a bird faster. Okay, there you go. Enough of that. In all honesty, that that's probably the best way to get um, a bird in general. So let's go ahead and get a golden tool as well. Kind of fix our sanity. We can go ahead and put this back. We also need, I think, six silk for um, our top hat for that Presto hat editor. So, how much is it? Silk hat. Yeah, there we go. And then you need two boards, I believe. Then we need one more rabbit. Oh, it's four boards. That's gonna be handy for what's gonna come next. We're gonna we're gonna make some magic as well. Excuse me. Okay, and let's feed everybody. want to be using is a majority of ice on everything because ice spawns everywhere but nothing else does so you can make a majority so I use one piece of meat two berries I think three berries and then uh, nothing but ice so you can really get a bunch of value out of your food by just filling everything with ice you got to be careful on what you're doing that with though ice is a really good filler so, as we wait here for the sun to come out, we can get one more rabbit and then we can get um, some magic going. But now that we have a bird cage, we can go ahead and kind of um, help our meat situation if we can find some spiders. Alright, let's hope we caught a rabbit. Oh, I hear it. There it is. Alright, guys, you want to come to the swamp with me? Cat, you can stay behind because you know you're low health. Unless we got spider glands. Here, I can help you out with something. If we have the glands of the spiders. There we go. Alright, let me invent this first. Oh, we got our we got our first bird. Go ahead and put them in here. We need to get some meat so we can start stocking our rations up. Okay, so we have spider glands. Or fresh ounce of grass. 
torch. Burn that. Let that go off. Make sure not to do that too close to your base. We need the ash. And then we need stones as well. We can help anybody who's low. Anybody low health? Besides cat? You are kinda. Ah, oh, so everybody needs some, huh? Okay, there we go. There you go. Use a couple of each, guys. I will make do. And anybody need a backup helmet? I want you guys to have at least one backup in your inventory. Okay, and the last one, whoever's the lowest. Take this. Here, take backup helmets, guys. That way you guys don't, you know, break it and then you guys gotta run away. Okay, cool. Let's get going. We gotta go get a uh, monster meat. And the swamp seems to be the easiest. Oh, never mind. Monster meat's gonna come to us even better. We could just wait here. So what you want to do is um, when um, your party's a little bit low health, you want to make sure that the weakest is um, always in the back. Let's make some more food. Just for later. Just show you how to make this to kind of boost somebody's health. You want to cook the monster meat, give it to the bird. They'll give you an egg. Any meat will give you a bird, but I think monster meat's just the easiest. What you want to do? Egg, meat, veggie, filler. That'll make something very good. And in winter, you do have a chance to have um, ice hounds to spawn. They're weaker than normal hounds. They drop more teeth, which is good. But um, if you have too many of them on you and they die, they freeze you. There you go. Pierogi. Almost half full. Alright, look at those free monster meat. Depending on how many hounds come and how much meat we get, we can probably feed the the whole squad. Squad! Oh, free two. Any more? Nope, I hear him. There you go, that's six meat. Oh, there you go, even more. Bring them on! I want all the monster meat! You see how easy a hound attack goes when they come one by one, they trickle in? If you let them stack up, it's it's gonna be a lot worse. You need another spear, Mossy? Take a tentacle spike out of the chest. Oh look, and our jerky's done. Okay, so we have ten. We're gonna cook five. I don't know if the bird will actually eat it uncooked. Let's cook five. No way we have an even five pierogies. We gotta give it to him quick before he falls asleep. Hmm, oh, I like this bird better. There you go. Go back, bro. <laughs> so you can go ahead and hang the good meat, because then that'll give you sanity when you make it. Alright, so, we have five eggs, five monster meat, same deal. We're going to try to feed everybody. Everybody gets one pierogi, guys, so you guys can heal up. If you guys need more, go ahead and take more.
They take quite a bit to cook. And go ahead and fill your lanterns up, guys. We have plenty of light bulbs. Go ahead and just top them off to 100 if you need to. Right, go ahead and eat the pearl, you guys. Heal up to full. So we're going to put our hound's teeth away. We're going to make traps with those later. Go ahead and put the bear trap out here. Get a free morsel or free feather once in a while. Excuse me, I have to go. Alright, we can make one more pierogi. Now this is the the go-to standard staple of Don't Starve, is having a pierogi. They're probably the best uh, cheap food, renewable food, because all you need is egg, meat, vegetable, and um, a filler. So you can use a berry or ice. I, I'd say these are probably the best healing items because they're the most readily available to use. Let's go ahead and put that there. Get my recipes mixed up. Alright, let's wait for that last one, then night to be done so we can go out and get some shit done. Hey Moss, I'm, I'm cooking something for you so you stop being hungry all the time. And let's top ourselves off with some jam. So now that we have the birds, we need the bees. I was going to show you guys how to do this. Go ahead and eat that moss when it's done. So I made a beehive, a bee box, in the previous episode, but uh, off camera. Now what I want to do is put it a little bit ways away from our base because in spring, so after after uh, winter, you're going to have some very aggressive bees, and they don't play nice at all, and they're quite annoying having stingers everywhere. So you want to put them pretty far away, but what you want to do with um, with a beehive when you have a bunch of them is you want to have them with a little bit of flowers and almost as far away from your base as physically possible without it being too far away. So you really don't want them stacking up because then you're going to have a bunch of bees in your base and it's going to be super annoying. Alright, so we need meat, fresh meat. So let's go to the swamp, guys, if you guys want to follow me. Let's go to the swamp. Remember always bringing fire making supplies and such. We need monster meat. It's normally uh, mostly why we're here. And we're going to go pick on the spiders. And since we have two Abigails, it should be pretty easy. So... We want as much monster meat as possible so we can pack eggs and we have carrots and such and we can start making farms for later when we need to stock up on vegetables. But for now, having those pierogies are really going to help us for deer crops later. It's almost preparation that we're going to have healing for him when he shows up. And then we can farm some were pigs and get some hand bats going if, if nobody wants to use um, tentacle spikes and stuff like that. We have a tier 3 nest here. This is perfect. Go ahead and bring a couple out here. Come on. Take the bait. Now, if you guys suck at combat, you guys don't have uh, uh, Abigail or can't do much, you want to bait them out outside of the web. Do not hit them on the web because this will, it will do this. It will just cause so much spiders you'll be overwhelmed. You want them to come a little bit out to you, let them bite first, and then hit them. There you go. Free web, too. So you want to slowly drain the, the nest of its reserves before going in. Because then you only have to fight one fighter war, uh, one spider warrior. Okay, at this point, should be fine to hit it. Yeah, only a couple spider warriors will come out. And you really want to just keep molly whopping them. There you go. That's what you don't want to do. That's not to, to don't list. Come on, guys, hit him. Yeah, see, that's what you don't want to do is hit him on there. 
Abigail will help me out, so I'll be fine. We can heal this up with uh, the food that we're going to have later. Okay. So look at this boon. We can heal up all this sanity and all this damage later. And we have pigskins to spare, so that's not too bad. This should be drained. And they're a little preoccupied over there, too. So just wail on the tier 3 nest before it turns into a spider queen. You want to grab all the silk as well. You want to save the nests so you can relocate them and farm them later. I'm a little bit freezing, so I'm going to go ahead and make a campfire right here. Yeah, as a team, all these numbers don't really overwhelm you too much. You guys can get rid of them quite easy. And, ooh, a new tentacle spike, too. There you go. No more spooters. You can relocate these nests and farm them easier as well. Yeah, new tentacle spike. So I broke my other one. So, stoke the fires a little bit. I'm going to chop down some trees. Just to get some more twigs and logs back. See, you don't have to be a combat expert and don't starve to do well as long as you have a strong team behind you. Uh, obviously, you know, there was one fuck up where we actually hit them on the web and then, you know, you get the you get the ten spider warriors out instead of the one or two of them. So, but even, even failing on that aspect, it's like, if you have a strong team behind you, they can bail you out. And that's what I really want to teach us. Like, you don't have to be this god at kiting to do well and don't start together as long as you have a good team. As long as you guys are working together, you guys can do it. So now we can get back and cook all these pierogies. We can have them stock up, heal the damage that we did today. And then uh, when Deerclops comes out, well, we won't have much of a problem with him. We're going to want to go farm the desert as well. And we're going to want to get as much cactus as we can. That way, when so sanity doesn't become an issue. And also, if you guys didn't know this little trick, you guys find these little spiky bushes, dig them out so you can get the twig, and then put them on the fire. It's full fuel. It's full fuel value. Hey guys, stockpile the. Give me the webs, the glands, the meat, and um, the nests, and see what our haul is. If you guys can, if you guys picked up anything. Is that everything? Oh. More prey. Let them come to us. There you go. He's drained. I'm back off a little bit. I'll give you guys life though. You can probably kill this last last nest as well. I'll pick up the loot, don't worry guys. I'm a little low, that's why. Okay, so I'm just coming here with, what, four people? We have 18 glands, 25 meat, and four nests. Four eggs, I should say. Oh, I'm gonna work our bottoms and say. Got you, B. There you go. And you can help your friends out with shadow creatures. Don't worry, I'll fix your sanity when we get back, Moss. Come on, let's go. You guys are all warmed up, right? You don't need to sit here all night. So let's go back with our delicious haul of spider meat. So we can really boost uh, the pierogi manufacturing in the morning. And we can fix almost all the damage that we just did today. So, uh, if you guys want a constant flow of silk glands and uh, monster meat, what you guys can do is you guys can put these spider eggs in a location near your base and pretty much farm them whenever you guys need. I don't recommend going over four nests. I think four is the maximum I would be comfortable with. Uh, I do have two Wendy's, so the Abigails do help. But if you uh, have more than that, uh, I feel like the numbers can get too overwhelming. You guys can kind of trim them down with traps and stuff like that, and it's not so bad. Oh, I see that terror beak. Let go. I got one. Don't worry, Moss. No, fit, fit me. I 
I ain't afraid of no terror beak. My nightmare fuel. Oh, he's ignoring me. That's fine. School is me. Yeah, I want to test this theory. Yeah, see, look, they won't eat it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the fire. Let's see how many pierogies we can crank out. As far as prep for deer clops, I just want to make as much rations as we can. That way we're all nice and topped off when we have to fight him. Uh, fighting him at 30 health, 15 health like I am right now. Just really, really just unload, unload these eggs. Mm, more free meat. Hey Moss, go ahead and eat um go ahead and eat the jerky if you need it. If you're that insane. Okay, we can make about and progies on the table if you guys need it. You can really get like a rhythm going if you got the crock pots all next to each other. Just don't go too fast, mess it up. I will fix your sanity. You will eat this. Alright, have everybody eat the pierogies. I found another area with rooks. With rooks? Uh, we don't really need gears right now. And the area below Abby's playground trying to find the Matus. Are you trying to find Matus? Yeah, that's important. We'll get in that after we kill the deer clops. We gotta farm one for everybody if we can. Just trying to get pierogies on everybody. I wanna stockpile a couple too. Oh, we're out of veggies. Well darn. I'm collecting a ton of berries and carrots right now. I just need just carrots need. right now. So we have three extra, by the way, guys. We have three extra pro make that four extra pierogies. If you guys need them. Alright, so. What's around here? Oh. Hmm. If you guys still need health, let me know. And then I'll go ahead and make some more uh, glands. If you guys aren't hungry, we can make uh, more uh, healing staves. And then you can make your rounds with the rabbit traps. Make those as jerky as well. Those also help with sanity and health if you guys are a little low. Reset these things. And then I think that's going to call it a wrap on this one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's just a quick farming episode where we're just pretty much um, preparing for our bosses and the the season itself see i hope uh i hope healing and food isn't that much of a problem for you guys i know it was a little bit more of a boring episode but uh glad to have everybody here and i hope you guys learned something let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below if you guys are having difficulties with most things in winter and other than that guys thanks to sarah moss and cat for joining me on this episode if you guys have any questions again discord and donation links are in the description below you can give me uh, a ring on discord and then i can i can go ahead and answer your questions there other than that, guys, donations help the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, y'all.